Folks, Joe DeRosa here. I am out on the road doing those live shows all over the place. And uh, let's... Folks, Joe DeRosa here. I am out doing live shows all over the place by myself, not with the pod, just alone, solo, doing my thing. Uh, first up, November 9th, New York, New York. I'm doing a special show. This is a, a selected readings. I'm going to be reading entries for my audio book, The Penthouse Papers, so, plus, plus some other stuff I've had published over the years. Uh, that's for the New York Comedy Festival in New York, New York at the KGB Bar on November 9th. November 11th, Philadelphia, PA, Theater of the Living Arts, almost sold out. Only a few tickets left. Please come out to that. November 17th, we're sold out. Pittsburgh, PA, at the Bottle Rocket. November 18th, Buffalo, New York, Theater at Seneca One. Again, almost sold out. Buy your tickets, please. November 30th, Denver, Colorado, at the Summit. December 1st, Phoenix, Arizona, at the Crescent Ballroom. December 3rd, Salt Lake City in Utah at the Soundwell. And January 13th, just announced, New York, New York, Gramercy Theater. Folks, New hour, popping off at the Gramercy and all of those other venues I just listed, with the exception of the KGB Bar Show. That's the only one that's not me doing I Never Promise You a Rose Garden. I'm going to be doing readings from the book at that show and that show only. Anyway, come check me out, JoeDeRosa.com, for all the show info and your ticket links. And as usual, if you're in New York, please, please, please come see us at Joey Rose's. Open seven days a week at 11.30 a.m. every day. Delicious sandwiches, cheap drinks. Come see us. And if you want info about the venue, joeyrosesnyc.com. Taste buds. They come into the mic. Talking about the food they hate. Talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man. Yeah, they come into the Hey, folks, the welcome to T-A-S-T-E Buds. We got a... Sp- Eh, not a special guest, but a guest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ian Fidance is here. Yes. How are you, buddy? I'm great, man. It's good to see you. I break your, you. I bust your stones because you're a friend. Yes. But um, you know, uh, I I do love you. Thank you. You're welcome. Friends bust each other's stones. Yeah, that but is at the true. End of the day. It's all love. It's all sign of a lot. What did they used to say on the Friars things? We only roast, roast the, the ones, ones we love. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And speaking of love, you guys are going to love going to my special taping Sunday, December 3rd, New York City, the cutting room, two shows, 7 and 9.30, ianfidance.com. Ooh, you're going to try to fill that room twice. That's ballsy. The- <laughs> Speaking of ballsy, you've started to love smacking them around. How's that feel, Joe? Very good. Yeah. I like yeah, it. I know, right? I like yeah. it. I love a good sack. I think it should make the... the <laughs> yeah. 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 It should make that noise. Oh, that. yeah. Um, we have another guest uh, supposedly coming. Um, you know this guy's always late. Is he really? Oh, yeah. When we're on the road, it's tick-tock, tick-tock. Wait for this guy to stop playing with this. Now, he said to... Don't say the street. Because I don't want to give our location away, but he said uh, he said that he got off at at uh, twelve oh two. He said that he got off at the stop that V says is two blocks away. Um, I, in his defense, it's a little bit Narnia. Down what do you mean really? Narnia? Like hard to find. It, like, yeah, figure it out. Life's hard. Be harder. <laughs> what the f- are we doing here? Also, maybe give yourself a little extra time to. To get to the place. Yeah. And now I'm throwing stones and I'm living I'm in only, a glass I'm house because I'm, I'm late a, a lot. <laughs> well, but I'm on, a, I'm on a tight turnaround today. Yeah, you've got to do more mixing for Salsa Verde or whatever the hell your little <laughs> no. side project is. Today, this is going to come out after the live show. but but When's that? Well, the live show was October 28th at Arlene's Grocery. Uh-huh. But today is the first. Oh, look who decided to show up. Oh, hello. Sunglasses hey, indoors. Louie Katz, Whoa, everybody. Louie. Good to see yeah. you wearing the same shirt you always Louis, wear. Louie, I'm so sorry to, to have put you out to be here for yeah. the thing you asked to be on. Yeah. <laughs> Such a good energy just walking on, just being yelled at. That you were yeah. supposed to be here a half hour ago. Well, 12. Uh, it, was not, it was not half an hour ago. It was I seven it was minutes ago. 9.30. No, no, no. 12 o'clock. o'clock. We said I'm noon. It's 12.10. I'm a few Fuck. minutes late. A few you minutes. Know. I'm a couple minutes late. Start time. Well, no, a couple's two. It's ten couple, is ten several. is ten. Yeah, there you several go. Several minutes late. You're on the right track. Tens of amount, no, 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 amount late. Unacceptable no, amount late. None no. of those things. Ten. No, but but if you say start times at twelve, it's at twelve. 
Yeah. I've never seen a podcast start on time. Congratulations on well, being the only this one. This is the first does. time you're doing on one that's actually monetized itself and <laughs> makes money. <laughs> you know, I'm sorry. Uh, maybe you're when you're doing the, the 1 a.m. slot at Gas Digital. The, you know, the, no. last, week was du- <laughs> last week was WTF. It was Obama and then me. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of big time. Now. Oh, a war know. criminal and a f- late Jew. All Dude, right. Let's you were late. so lucky to be anywhere with Obama. Get out of here. Oh, yeah, and, and I'll say, I, you and I have something in common. We both love trans women because Michelle's real name is Michael. Wait, were you, did, was Obama, <laughs> did you really follow Obama last week on no, WT? No. no. <laughs> Obama did it in 2009. <laughs> and this last I week know. was uh, the pickle man or some was, bullshit. It was, was Schwarzenegger. It was Schwarzenegger. Oh, but I, I was going to say, <laughs> I was going to say, you were late to Marin. I would have a, I would literally have a panic attack if I was late. Marin? If I was late meeting Marin for coffee, I'd be <laughs> hyper. Were you late to, to Marin? I can't remember. I'm typically late. Always. I try to be on time. This is pretty close. To me, this is on time, and I was really proud of myself. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry. All right. Well, whatever. <laughs> We, his life like we he's bust, in Spain. We bust balls around here. We said before you showed up, we only roast the ones we love. Yeah. <laughs> you said that? Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We love you. We Any did. other Jeff Ross lines? You got <laughs> Alan King. Wow. It was Alan yeah. King's line. Oh, huh? my God. What's Alan, that? Who the fuck is Alan King? Alan King and, yeah, and right. Freddie he's, Roman yeah. were the were the were the, oh, the original Friday. roasters. Yeah. You're right. Right. Um, Marin, I have a funny Marin story. When I did WTF, um, I was doing it to promote my special at the time. And uh, I was so excited that he was going to have me on, and I was also, like, nervous. I've known Mark for a long time, but, it, you know, it was a big show. Yeah. And uh, I, was, it was a, I was doing it on a Wednesday, and the Wednesday before I was doing it, I was on my couch, and I was taking a nap. And I woke up from the nap, and I looked at my phone, and I had texts from Mark Marin, And he goes, what happened, buddy? No, I thought we were we, we're not recording today. I thought we we're and I was like, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. So I look at my calendar and I I have it in my calendar as the following Wednesday, and I call him. He pick and he's like, yeah, and I because you know he sees my name, and I, he goes, yeah, and I go, Mark, if I fucked up, I'm really sorry, but I have it in my calendar as next week. Did I make a mistake? If I did, this is I'm really sorry, but I want you to know I didn't blow you off, obviously. And he goes, hold on, let me check. Walks away from the phone, comes back 30 seconds later, and he goes, okay, so I guess I'm the idiot. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, and he goes, I'll see you next week. And I was like, all, all right. Still angry at you for his mistake. I, I love that. That's, That's, really, That's really beautiful. And the inflection on I am, <laughs> the insinuation being, I've been sitting here calling you an idiot in my head for the last hour. <laughs> so I guess I'm the idiot. <laughs> Amazing. Like, That's great. Uh, yeah, it was funny. And then yeah. I did the show, and it was really fun. No, he was he was good. I'm I'm glad he brought me back. It was he's a cool guy. He's cool to me. So you've done it twice. Yes. Okay. So you can do it twice. I thought you were only allowed to do it once. Some people. All right. So, cool. all right. <laughs> Does, hey, are these? Should I leave these on to differentiate? No, they us? look idiotic. They stupid. Yeah. Are, are those sunglasses <laughs> or transition lenses? Sunglasses. They're sunglasses, and I need them to see. So I either prescription sunglasses. Yeah, but why would you wear the them cool indoors? Because I just I need glasses, so I have to switch whole glasses in order. But to you, dear why God. did you switch them when you got indoors? I was rushing to be on time. Remember that part? Yeah, Miss, but you were already please, late. Pimp, please there highlight is. on ca- the shot of the most Jewish thing of all time happening. A man talking about how he has to shit change his glasses, My glasses. as his yes. glass case falls out of his yeah. pocket of his Woody Allen army coat My that he's glasses. wearing. Dude, one time I was handcuffed in the back of a cop car, and I it was during COVID. I had a mask on. and uh, What? Was this when you still drank? No, this was dead ball sober. I got arrested at the airport for class four felony weapons charge. I got called with brass. I got called with brass and uncles at the airport. Was it an accident? So or stupid. You, I That's forgot so I had him. My one call in jail was to a tell to tell him I'm gonna miss the first gig in Utah because of brass knuckles. You might as well caught you with like ninja stars. Or I like, forgot or like, I had him. The city's crumbling. <laughs> or snap. Everyone's pops. getting assaulted. I'm you, a little guy. I gotta protect myself. How did you get you? out if you didn't call a guy for bail? Huh? How did you get out if you didn't call a guy for bail? <laughs> Catch and release, baby. They f- lock you up for a little and they give you a little try, summons. Try to curse less because Pimp's got to be- bleep every curse. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why? Because it's, it's a, a whole thing. I'm not going to be a slave to the algorithm. Bleep slave. 
<laughs> yeah, we, we. Can we do a thing where we bleep DeRose's name <laughs> every time we say it? Like Trump? Yeah, yeah that'd be yeah. the best. Uh, so, so yeah. dude, I'm in the back of the cop car. I'm handcuffed, and I got the mask on, and uh, the cop is... Uh, there's one driving and the other, and I go, um, excuse me, can you fix my glasses? <laughs> because they were fogging up, and they were like this, because uh. they had to take everything off me to check me, uh. you know? And in my pocket... God. They, a man, I, I'm like, wears, I'm, wearing a mask yet carrying brass knuckles. I'm like, no, no, it's in the airport. They made me put the mask on. They made me they put made the mask me. on. Who made you the New liberals? No, Who no, made no. you the lip tards? Put New the mask on. Newark police. Newark police. They oh, made Newark me put the police. Mask I guess on. it was different there than here because I never saw a cop in a mask yeah, in New York. The City. Newark yeah. police <laughs> made yeah. you put a mask yeah, on. Of so, all yeah. the police forces, I would have thought you would have said the Portland, Oregon police made Crazy. me put the mask on. Dude, and also, I'm I'm like, I'm not a threat. You found the found the brass knuckles in the same pocket as a donut and a mustache comb. Like, what are we doing? I got news for you, buddy. What? You look like a threat. You do. You look like a problem. Yeah. I'm just a minor threat. Oh, God. You do. Look at your belt. Look. <laughs> what? <You're>, just, <laughs> yeah, you look like a problem. I'm serious. Dude. Sorry. Oh, step to me. See what happens. You, step to me. <laughs> that sounds like a threat. <laughs> yeah. Well, you you got to be tough in this world. <laughs> No. Anyway, it's folks, ridiculous. Louis was with me when I got assaulted in a graveyard. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I was. yes, over I a was. mask, over a mask yes. in a graveyard, in a graveyard Outside next to the stress, stress factory. factory. <laughs> I just pictured. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. Wait, what? Wh why were you in a graveyard at the stress factory? He was sm texting or smoking. It's was, right around the corner from the stress factory. Yeah, it was a, and it was I was sitting outside the graveyard. I'm on the phone with my, like. Years ago, the only place that feels lonelier than the stress factor is the <laughs> graveyard next to the stress factor. <laughs> well, dude, me and this guy got into it, and I'm on the phone with my chick at the time, and uh, they walk away, and they threw a bottle at me, and it fuck, it crashed. Sorry, on on the ground next to me, and I get up, I'm like, you know, a lot of bad words, a lot of female <laughs> body parts. I'm calling them, and uh, mm -hmm. they. I go, you you want to throw something far away? Come come, and do it to my... What are you talking about? Get the fuck over here. <laughs> it's hard not to curse. So they, right? Yeah, so they... <laughs> I know, so it's tough. We get used to it. So they called my bluff, because I had distance balls, because I was, like, super far away. So I was like, I can mouth off. What are they going to do? Tr trudge all the way back here? And they did. And the guy came at me, and I'm like, is this a joke? Like, is this really happening? And the guy just speared me like Goldberg, and tackled me onto the concrete, and I'm, like, hitting him in the ribs, and he's just, like, bear-hugging me, and I'm, like, kicking him off me, and I, like, cut my elbow, my glasses, and meanwhile, I am I got my ex at the time in an earbud. We were breaking up, getting back together, <laughs> and literally before he tackles me, I'm like, I can be the man that is there for you. I am the... We will change. And then she hears me go, ow, 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 stop, stop, no. <laughs> Get off. So funny. Yeah, and then Louie's my lawyer yeah. going around like, we need to find the police. I will tell them what to do. And, and the cop's like, it's really he said, she said. I go, can you just put him in a cop car and ruin his night at right. least and no. let me stand behind you and like talk s and uh <laughs> they were like we can't really do that yeah so, all right nothing came of it well there you go so you're not a threat no i am a threat you got beat up in a graveyard well i got some good wallops in it sounds like you got beat up it does sound like well he did get a little beat I mean, that's up. That's how it sounded, Sometimes right? Sometimes life beats you up. What are you gonna do? You fall down, you get back up. You can take I, a beating. I, I uh, can take, take a beating. beating. <laughs> um, you go you go toe to toe, you better pack a lunch. We're gonna be there all day. <laughs> uh today we're battling uh, <gasps> No, today we're battling uh Louie, we we did go with the deli battle. I think that was the right move. Yeah. We're battling Jewish deli versus Italian deli, which is the better deli? Um, Ian and I are going to be team de uh, Italian deli. Louis is flying solo with Jewish deli. Um, I'm ready to go. And let me say before we start the battle. Yes. Yes. Ian and I both have great love for the Jewish deli. As I have love for for Italian deli. Okay. I, I told him, I said, dude, I'll do Italian, but I love Jewish deli. But... This is what this show is about. This show is is court. It's not about whether or not you hate the other thing. It's not about whether you think the other thing 
is truly guilty. It's about your thing winning. That's mm. it. It's about winning the case. So when we step into that battle arena, we go in. Yeah. And that's it. That's okay. how it works. So no disrespect to the D Italian deli. I love you. Uh, yes. But it, you're about to go down. I might right. wear a wife beater to really embody the, the Italian. Okay. Go yeah. ahead. Because your head is Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> so I like that you're in between the two I things. My body to be Italian. <laughs> uh, it's time to get salties. Yeah, yeah. God, we haven't done the chance in forever. All right, so we have a chant to get us to get us amped into into battle mode. Where here's here's <laughs> God. You deserve to be stopped like, at every airport. I wear, I wear my shirts like me and DeRosa like our women. Tucked. <laughs> so. <laughs> all right. So the battle is, here's the thing. The battle is, uh, or, or I'm sorry, the salty is, uh, the chant is, is you go, it's time to get salty, it's time to get salty, it's time to get salty three times. And then you launch, as soon as you chant it three times, you launch an immediate insult at the other guy. All right. About the food or just about No, them about in him personally. And then you do it again, and then the other guy launches one back at you. That's it. Okay. But trust me, it gets your juices going. All right. All right? Let's do it. So you could, uh, one of us has to do it with Louie, and then Louie has to do it back to both of us. You want to do it to a both of us? I defer to you since this is like your thing. Okay. All right, ready? What do I, do? I guess. We go, it's time to get salty, it's time to get salty, it's time to get salty. And then, boom, I just hit you immediately with a fast insult. All right. And then we do it again. You can laugh, I'm telling you. It'll get you going. All and then right, we yeah. do it again, and then you shoot one back yeah, at you're me. you're right. We weren't laughing enough naturally. <laughs> no, not laughing. Let's... No, I'm saying you'll. he's laughing at the concept like it doesn't work. I'm saying it works. I'm saying it, all right. I mean, I don't know. All right. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah, I think On so. On the count of three, we go, it's time to get salty, okay, it's time okay, to get salty, okay. it's time to get salty. I insult you. Okay. Then we do it again, and then you insult me. Easy enough? Can I do Ian? If you want to. Yeah. No. But that's... I'm going to insult you. Yeah, right, you can do Ian. Too easy. Right, right. I'm do too Ian. easy. No, it'll be right. funny. It'll be around the... Oh, Ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so Louie. going around? Yeah, I'll do you, and then you do Ian, and then okay. we'll start. Ready? Folks, let's talk about Butcher Box. Who doesn't love Butcher Box? Uh, everybody loves, but we love Butcher Box. Uh, why do we love Butcher Box? Well... Because they're providing high quality meat and it's easy to find and it's easy to trust. You know, you're getting your quality and your money's worth and a great deal when you're shopping with Butcher Box. When it comes to your meats and your seafoods, there's no better way to go. It's 100% grass fed beef, beef. There's free range organic chicken. There's pork that's raised crate free and the seafood is wild caught. It's all humanely raised, no antibiotics, no added hormones, none of that stuff. It's delivered right to your doorstep, free shipping, always amazing. And it's curated uh, in customized box plans. Uh, there's a variety of high quality cuts uh, of meats and things at an amazing value. There's exclusive member deals. And, uh, you know, they they also offer you uh, recipe inspiration and guides and tips and and all kinds of good stuff. So you're so you're doing the best stuff possible with that meat that you're getting. I love meat. I love butcher box. I think uh, their options and their deals are unbeatable, especially when you're even comparing it to your local grocery store. That's the thing. A lot of online services, it's kind of like, well, you're going to pay a little extra to do this thing, but at least I don't have to go to the butcher box is giving you the convenience of online. And then also, in, in my opinion, beating the grocery store prices that you're getting uh, as far as the quality and stuff that you're finding through them and through their products. Uh, I love butcher box. Anyway, this Black Friday, your search for amazing deals on high quality and protein ends with butcher box. That's right. Your search ends with Butcher Box, meaning they're going to give it to you. They're offering their best deal of the year. Choose your free steak for a year. Okay? Choose between two New York strip steaks, filet mignon, or ribeyes to get free in every box for a whole year when you join. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash taste buds and use code taste buds. You're going to choose your free steak for a year, and you're going to get $20 off. That's butcherbox.com slash taste buds. Use code taste buds to get this special Black Friday deal plus $20 off. Folks, 
Let's talk about Game Time, a regular sponsor here at the Taste Buds Podcast. If you like to go see live events, but you don't always have the ability to buy those tickets far in advance for whatever your reason is, Game Time is the app for you. Why? Because you shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets for a big event. Game Time is providing a fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you with killer last-minute deals, all-in prices, views from your seat, and the best price guaranteed. Game Time takes the guesswork out of buying tickets. Uh, it's easy to find the tickets on the app. Uh, it's easy to find the events on the app that you're looking for tickets for. And my favorite feature is the seat views, that you can see what it's going to look like from your seat wherever you're sitting, wherever you're buying the ticket for wherever you're sitting in the venue. Anyway, I want you to try Game Time today. Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. You're going to download that app. You're going to create an account and use code TASTEBUDS to get $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code TASTEBUDS, T-A-S-T-E-B-U-D-S, for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. Ready? Sure. One, two, two three. three. It's, time it's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. Your head's too small, especially when your gut is so big. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> I work out. Oh, Do wow. You? No, it ain't working out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the only workout you're doing is with a sandwich. Feel that? <laughs> Feel that when you went, oh, wow. See, that's what I'm talking about. Get that fucking fire in your belly. All right, Kevin. yeah, I guess Get I that fire in your belly. Angry and upset now. That's yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Yeah, let's now, go. Now we, we insult right, right, him right, right. now. Oh, he insulted you. Insult him. No, I'm salty. All right, what do, the it, fuck do it. You put do it. Come on, momentum. Go. All right. One, all two, right. three. It's time, time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. You're a weak little man. No, he's insulting you. Oh. It's time, right. to it's, it's time, time to get salty. It's time to get salty. It's time to get salty. You're only funny when you're loud. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! All right, time to B A T T L E buds. Here we go. Jewish deli versus Italian deli. First of all, I am so happy to be on the side of Italian deli. You know why? Why? Because ain't nobody from a Jewish deli going to beat me up for shitting on it. Italian <laughs> deli. You shit on the Italian deli. You got a you got a problem on your hands. You got a. <laughs> <laughs> to get you where you're at. I was in a better place before. When you when you shit on a I can be funny softer. No, you, you can't. Just, you just yell yeah. at when me. You're, <laughs> uh, uh, shit, I cost poop. When you shit on an Italian deli, you got a bunch of gaudies on your hands afterwards. It's no good. When you shit on a Jewish deli, what's going to happen? What, are they going to come count my money? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What? Wow. <laughs> what is that? Is that a bad joke to make right now in this climate? I'm sorry. I'm just I mean, joking. It is. I thought you were monetized. I guess you're not anymore. Sorry. No, no. Yeah, well, of course he's worried about the money. See, I that wasn't loud. I didn't mean I didn't mean that as the as the like greedy thing. I meant it as like like they're 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 like Accountants. smart, like smart. nerdy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are yeah, smart. And so smart that we decided to put tables and chairs in our delis and turn it into a restaurant, whereas Italian delis are just counters. All right. You can't even you think know beyond I go back, the concept of I go of back a to the counter. greedy stereotype. Greedy? <laughs> it's a restaurant <laughs> with all sorts of things in there. All you got is hams and hams and hams and hams on hams, and that's it. Dude, listen to me. Listen to me. I'm listening. I'm, to quote the great Sebastian Meniscalco. Oh, exactly. <laughs> to quote him? Yeah. I, yes. Do it in the voice. He said the funniest thing uh, he said this to me at a party. Do it in the voice. Uh, in Montreal. I will. He said this to, uh, to me at a, in the corner of a party in Montreal. I was talking to him and Pete Corielli. It was when he was engaged to marry his wife, uh -huh. who is Jewish or, or half Jewish. I think she's Jewish, yeah. Uh, and I said to him, I go, I go, that's awesome, dude, because you're Italian, and now you're marrying into Jewish. I go... You're getting the best of all quiz uh, of all cuisines. I go, you get to get the Jewish cuisine now too. Uh -huh. And he goes, their entire menu falls apart after breakfast. <laughs> that is preposterous. <laughs> that is preposterous. I can't believe that their entire menu falls apart after breakfast. He said it. W he said it went as far as locks and bagels. And hey, he's having pastrami for breakfast. He's having. I mean, Listen, get out of here. Let me tell you about pastrami. Tell pastrami me about it. Is, tell me how delicious it pastrami is. Pastrami. Tastes like corned beef, amazing. Pastrami tastes a lot of the time like hot dogs. 
It tastes like chopped hot up hot dogs. Dog. Delicious. Hot dogs are. That's but do you like want a hot I'm dog? I'm on your side. Do you want Sorry. a chopped up sandwich of hot dog meat? That's what pastrami tastes that like. That is a lot crazy. Of time. It's not crazy. That is crazy. It to tastes me. just like pastrami that. Pastrami has time. so much more depth than the other Italian meats. You get an Italian sub, it's oh, just please. a salt bomb. It's just a salt explosion in your mouth. You, pastrami you, is sweet. It's peppery and it's salty. It's got all the flavor levels. It's not sweet. Sweet peppers. Peppers, salt goes on an Italian sub. What are you talking about? Shh. <laughs> Dude, you guys got one. Listen, brand. guts enormous. I'm gonna. You guys got I'm in better shape than you, Ian. Come on. Are you insane? No, I'm not. Yeah, insane. no, it, I Louis, that's nuts. You I'm not. Do, I'm just not nuts. You couldn't do Louis, 25 that's nuts. pushups right now. Have you now. seen the guns? Have you seen the guns? Oh, that's what nice. are you talking wow. about? That are, those in are good guns. You, in better yeah. shape, you are a shape. I'm in better shape. I'm in, I'm in better shape. Do, do 25 push-ups right I now. Guys, focus. Right now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Jesus. New, new argument. <laughs> Who's in better shape? <laughs> are you kidding me right now? I'm a brick shit house. Louie. <laughs> you got half that right. <laughs> Louie. Yeah, there you go. Uh, he got you good. Shut you know up. What? This is your fault. <laughs> Either bring it to the battle or get out of the room. I mean, you're you're tanking us over here right I'm now. I'm in good shape because I eat at Italian delis. You're full of fish and, and stuff. Ian. What do you Ian, think of Jesus. that? Louie. <laughs> Louie. You guys got you one? Got guns? Yeah, Look I got at this. guns. I got let's, guns. Uh, let's play oh, six geez. inches. Ian! Jeez. Stronger! Shut up! <laughs> Stop! Put you're so on and see what oh it, you God, look like. God, you're literally Go. like a you're like a little rat. I'm aware. <laughs> Focus. Right, God, right. you're not in a maze trying to get out of it right, right now. Right. Just take a breath. Yeah, I'm in a maze of insults that I'm <laughs> trying to. Defend. You guys have one bread, rye. It's a delicious. It's it's a high level bread. It bre the bread sure. brings so much to the table. But you got one bread. You got one bread. What do you got to do? And you got three dough? meats you put on that bread. Brisket, which is worthless. Uh -huh. Pastrami, which is sometimes good. And corned beef, which is a home run. You're skipping chopped liver. You're skipping tongue. Ch uh, d disgusting and more disgusting, you mean? Uh, I'm sorry, chopped so liver basic. and tongue? Chopped liver's pate. You don't like pate? No. No, pa pate no. is disgusting. I'm a human, not a cat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I right? don't know about that. By the way, by the way, <laughs> chopped liver, by the way, chopped liver and pate, I'm sorry, you mean liverwurst? Because yeah. that's what it is. No, it's, it's not. It's, it's not. bologna paste. No, it's you guys not. It's bologna paste. It's literally pate. It's the same as pate. Pate, liverwurst is a form of pate. It's a the same crap. Isn't it more solidified, liver liverwurst? It's gross. Pate right. well, is I mean, I don't gross. Know what to tell you. Some people are I've sophisticated and some people aren't. Uh -huh. I've I've seen seen you. You. <laughs> some people are Oscar Mayer and some people aren't. I've All of the Jewish, Jewish meats are available in Oscar Mayer. No, that's no, how you actually, know it's not good. No, that's, that's what I was going to say is that a good you cannot get good pastrami if you don't go to the right place. It's artisanal. You go to Katz's, it's like you go to get pastrami from the store, it's not even going to come don't close. Don't get me started now, you on go to get like a Don't get me started. Yeah, I got to take out a second mortgage. You will afford a brisket. <laughs> You're gonna be you fired go, up. You go to get capicola. Any of those Italian meats capicola. from a regular from a supermarket, they're gonna taste pretty good. Pastrami, you got to get it done right. Do you know what I mean? It's brined. It, it takes a while. It's seasoned. Yeah, just like Jews, it's nitpicky. Hold on it's a second. It's not good enough here. <laughs> Hold on. I got to go That's here. not true. It's difficult Hold and on a second. annoying. That's not true. That's not what you just said is not true. What it you just said true. is not true. It is true. You have to get, if you want a good, like salami, huge meat in, amongst the Italians. Yes. And there's ver many versions of salami. This there's, is Jewish salami. There's the super sot. There's, it's not as good. It's not. There's Genoa. There's super sot. There's cooked, there's you know salami cotto. There's a lot of different kinds of salami. That's true. If you want those right, you got to go quality on those. You can't go buy a batch of Oscar Mayer Genoa salami and go, oh, this is great. Can you get? I'm not can, knocking Genoa uh, Oscar Mayer. I'm no, just saying it is what it is. The though. high end at the store at the supermarket is pretty good of all those meats you just said. The you, high end. Hold on. The high end of the pastrami at the store at the supermarket. Not even close can to I what you get say, at a Jewish deli. Not even close. Okay, can I, I just will... say the reason you think that is because you got a palate of a poodle. You don't know nothing. You think the deli meat, the the meats at a grocery store, even compare to an Italian deli? They do. You're no, but here's they the do. thing: Louis, go to his shop and taste what he got, and then go to a, a Safeway and see what you get. Thank I, you they, very much. I mean, yeah. But here's Louie. He's Come got on. a point. He's got a point. You're talking about you're talking about Boar's Head versus. 
things that are literally imported from Italy. It's it's no contest. Sure. When I go in, if I go into an Italian shop, mm -hmm. okay, and I'm putting it in quotes because the term is thrown around a little too loosely, sure. especially in parts of New York, much Loose to like, my chagrin. Like the Italian women. But, <laughs> <laughs> but if I go oh, into look it, who's a little writer. But if I go into it, it <laughs> should I have yelled it? Would that have been better? Yeah. I don't like it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The uh, the uh, if if I go into an Italian shop uh -huh. and I see Boar's Head, because uh -huh. it happens. Yes, I walk out. I'm like, I'm, I'm not here for that's not. I can get that at any deli and go go give me an Italian and it'll be that. Respect. In imported Italian meats, uh -huh. age true age cheeses from Italy. By the yes. way, let's get into cheeses, dude. You guys got Swiss. Guys, that's all you no. got. Well, it's like traditionally there shouldn't be any cheese in a Jewish deli, so we're new to the cheese technically. You know what I, I mean? mean? But I'm saying like it's, it's that's also cheese. too. You're letting you're letting religion enter the equation in your delis, dude. Thank no, we're not. You. That's the cool thing about it is that the modern Jewish deli you can get ham, you can get bacon, you the can modern, get all these things. The modern, but what, well, you what just, are we time traveling to these well, Jewish we're delis? About what a is, what's happening Jewish, here? I'm saying you're just saying there's a lot yeah, of Jewish delis now, that don't now, have cheese because now, you can't. I'm saying cheese is new here. All right, fair enough. <laughs> I don't know. Contribute to the conversation instead yeah, of talking about get, your arms. If I could get a word in edgewise with you two caddy broads going back and Just forth. jump in, Ian, without I'm screaming over. Jump. Go ahead. Use your words. Congrats on updating your delicious food that now Jews can eat this. That doesn't make it better. Now women can drive in Gaza, and you see what that place is like. Oh, boy. <laughs> doesn't make it a good spot. All I'm saying. Oh, boy. I'm on your side. <laughs> now, see why I have to yell? <laughs> to not say... No, you say horrible things at any volume you're at. <laughs> And you don't understand why it's not okay. <laughs> what are you talking about? He's giggling. He made a promo video at my bar. This all will have to be bleeped, what I'm about to say. Oh, listen to this. He made a promo video at my bar where he guest bartended, and he's screaming cock in the face of a woman sitting at the bar. And I go, Ian, I can't put this out. He goes, why? It's funny. I go, I can't have my bar in the feed of our bar putting a video of a man yelling cock in a woman's face. Do you understand how you can't do that now, when you're marketing a it. business? Give the con it wasn't just me yelling cock. I was doing cock puns. And I it was wasn't Puck. You said, I don't come down to where you work and tell you how to suck five cocks. <laughs> because a <laughs> porn star got on me that I didn't know how to make a drink. Okay. I thought you got on you because you didn't know how to suck a cock and you could suck a mean one. <laughs> I'm that, bad that at too? sucking guys' cocks. All right. Women, sorry, we can't talk I'll make their, their wieners come in a heartbeat. <laughs> Right, now got, it's a lot of bleeps. It's a lot said of bleeps. I said wieners. I said no, 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 come. Oh, yeah. Now that's now that's got to get bleeped. I mean, what are See? we doing it's a with, slippery this, slope. with this Zuckerberg overlord? Okay. Yeah. What? No, that listen. was anti-Semitic. Ian, you have to understand something. First of all, when first the of all, when my the little thing, thing was funny, and he goes, "But the children come to my restaurant. Restaurant? It's a it's a bar." Okay. And, and 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 thank you. Please tell me about my own business. We can we can <laughs> no, watch more on TikTok, but I can't take. Explain me about to me my own business yeah. as you rode away from it that night, <laughs> gleeful on your tricycle because you made fifty four dollars. <laughs> Explain when to me how to run a business. I made close to a hundred, and I tipped out the bar staff, and they told me you I should didn't have. They have made to. half of your drinks, Ian. <laughs> I made everything except for the d difficult ones. <laughs> He made so many comedy drinks that I had to be like, Ian, stop making funny drinks. I wasn't We're making losing funny like drinks. fists of alcohol back here. Oh. We're losing like <laughs> bottles of alcohol because you're making like zany like mixtures of pickle juice and whiskey. I'm like, so, stop, somebody, please. Somebody has a margarita and I was like, okay, here's whiskey and a thing with the salt. Which is why we had the know. real bartender there to make the but real people thing people got a you. kick out of it and I'll tell you this right now, two people were at a show last night and they go, we were there when you bartended to Joey yeah, Rose's again. Yeah, we again. It was fun. We loved how you didn't know how to make the drinks and you were better <laughs> at it than Joe. Their words, not mine. I wasn't now, behind the bar. Now, which Kelly's better? Let's get back to hot topic <laughs> All right, debate. Listen. Okay, here's the thing. 
Italian deli versus Jewish deli. Uh-huh. Well, we gotta get back to it. Here, <laughs> we go. come on. <laughs> We're on the same side. Salty, 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 salty. You're a you're a, a shell of a man. <laughs> Listen, I know. Am I arguing it? Uh, speaking of shells, another thing you're not going to find a Jewish deli: shellfish. What? You're going to find that in Italian deli. You're going to find some nice shrimp. You know? Uh, Are you? Oh, Italian delis will have. See, this is what I like about Italian delis. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh huh. The, there's a variety in them that a Jewish deli. I like Jewish delis. A variety. Hold on. In them? Listen to me. Listen to me. Just listen to me, Louis. Right. And you know this is true. And Ian, back me up on this. There is a variety in an Italian deli that you don't get at a Jewish deli. And I will explain what that is. Please. It's twofold. The first part is just the cuisine itself. Mm-hmm. There's going to be breaded chicken cutlet. There's going to be chicken parm. There's going to be meatballs. There's going to be sausage and peppers. There's going to be some pasta dishes. There's going to be cold salads. There's going to be, well, you said shrimp, whatever. There will often be a seafood salad. There will often be a pasta with seafood in it, a fra diavolo, whatever. They'll do different specials for the day uh, of, of cuisine type dishes. That's not even touching yet the sandwiches, which go far and wide and 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 all and whatever, right? Dude. Hold on, and, hold on. And, let me just so many objections. But hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me just finish this thought. Let me just finish this thought. Sandwich the second, combos are endless. Yes. Let me finish the second part though. I know. Because I, I want remember you, get, you told me to jump in, but you. But finish. no, no, no. I want you to get behind all this whole point. I want you to get behind this whole point because this is a good point. The second part of it is yes. the dry goods part. A good Italian deli slash Italian shop. They've got shelves of jarred peppers, jarred pickled mushrooms, pickled eggplant, whatever it is, pasta, whatever. You can buy a lot of them have frozen stuff. Here's our gravy frozen. Here's our meatballs frozen. Here's fresh pasta but that we, we made, but it's frozen in case you want to take it. It's like you a can grocery get store that- from your non. Yeah. <laughs> But the that's exactly Jewish the point. Jewish deli doesn't have any of that. Yeah, because the Jewish deli evolved into a restaurant, and the Italian deli is still an old world marketplace, and that's not what you're there yeah, for. You're there for Jewish food. Hold on, hold on. The, the, the variety is good. crazy. I don't know how long all that stuff's been in that fridge. It's been there for days. Oh, Who knows it. how long it's been there? The, the variety the of sandwiches. Inspector. The yeah. variety of sandwiches. This kind of ham. Again, this kind of ham. This kind of ham. Ham and ham. Ham and ham and ham. No, it's just different kinds of ham. And it's the chicken, delicious. The ham the chicken, argument, Louis. The ham the, argument is pre- you're talking about the prosciutto. Cutlet, the cutlet. And that's, that's not a, no, that's but I'm saying, a good argument. Prosciutto. Have you ever had barata? I'm talking. Yeah, let him know. <laughs> you got, you got, you know, a, what's a, what's like an Italian combo sandwich? It's just different kinds of pork, is what I'm saying. Like, right? Okay, well, pork ham, is a different term pork. than ham. All right, so chicken, I'm saying it's a chicken, salty, salty meat on, on a, a salty meat on a salty meat on a salty meat. Well, let me meat. tell you why there's nothing no wrong depth. with a pork with an all pork sandwich. It, well, just five different kinds of pork. Okay, I can't le, taste the different pork. T- it's not making anything that's not happen true. there. That's absolutely not true. Let me tell you why. And it's why I'm fascinated by the pig as an animal and its its providing of meat to us. Folks, did you know that poor sleep can cause uh, things like weight gain, uh, mood issues, poor mental health, uh, lower productivity? I knew about some of that stuff. I didn't know about all of it. Um, And I know that sleep is important, but I didn't know how much of a negative effect poor sleep could actually have on me and uh, or, or have on any one of us. Uh, sleeping less than six to seven hours per night is actually linked to reduced white blood cell count uh, and white blood cells protect our body against, you know, illness and getting sick and whatever. And, you know, I trust me, I'm somebody that uh, sleep as I get older, especially plays a very, very important part in my life. And I see the after effects if I'm not getting the right amount of sleep and I see the effects if I am getting the right amount of sleep. But in any case, I'm talking about all of this because Beam, a taste bud sponsor, is here to help. Uh, And let me tell you what Beam wants to do. Today, listeners will get a special discount on Beam's Dream Powder, which is their best-selling healthy hot cocoa for sleep, and it has no added sugar which I love now available also in delicious seasonal flavors like cinnamon, cacao, sea salt, caramel, and white chocolate, peppermint. Better sleep has never tasted better. I love this. I love that they're making a drink that helps you sleep and it's delicious. It's almost like you're knocking out the late night snack and the, uh, the, uh, uh, 
steps to have a proper night's sleep and one fell swoop, which is nice. Uh, a recent clinical study revealed that Dream helped 93% of users wake up feeling more refreshed and 93% reported that Dream helped them get a more restful night's sleep. So if you want to try Beam's best-selling Dream Powder, Take advantage of their biggest sale of the year and get up to 50% off for a limited time when you go to shopbeam.com. That's shopbeam, B-E-A-M dot com slash taste buds. That's shopbeam dot com slash taste buds for 50% off today. Folks, this episode of Taste Buds is sponsored by Better Help. Uh, I am a huge advocate of BetterHelp. Uh, I love BetterHelp, and I use BetterHelp. Uh, I think they're just providing a truly, truly great service uh, in, in a department that so many of us need some assistance with in life. Uh, here's the thing. Uh, this time of year in, can be a lot. Life can be a lot in general, general, but this time of year in particular can be a lot. And it's actually quite natural to feel some sadness or anxiety about that, whether you're recognizing that that's where it's coming from or not. Uh, adding something new and positive to your life can counteract some of those feelings. And for me, therapy is a bright spot uh, amid, amidst all the, the stress and the, and the chaos and everything else. Therapy really helps me. It, it gives me something to look forward to. It helps me feel grounded and it gives me the tools that I need to manage everything that's going on, period. Um, I have benefited greatly from therapy, uh, especially during times like this where life sort of kicks into high gear and I need a little help in feeling like the gas pedal isn't pressed all the way to the floor. That's really, really where therapy has assisted me greatly. So if you're thinking about starting therapy for the first time or maybe starting it up again, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely done online. It's designed to be convenient and flexible, and it's suited for your schedule. You fill out a brief questionnaire, and then you get matched with a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. That's huge. Uh, anyway, find your bright spot this season with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash taste buds, and you're going to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp.com slash taste buds. Go there today to get 10% off your first month. BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash taste buds. The pig is the only animal that provides several different types of tasting meats. Steak, and you can have a better cut versus a better cut, mm -hmm. but beef tastes like beef more or less. Mm -hmm. Chicken, there's a difference between white meat and dark meat, but chicken is chicken. Turkey's mm -hmm. the same thing. Mm -hmm. The pig, it is providing you with a pork rib tastes so different from a slice of ham. Mm -hmm. Salami mm -hmm. tastes so different. Genoa salami tastes so different from sausage. There, are, there are, People are doing things with the pig and giving it flavors I think it's that the, are so and, vastly different. It sounds like the pig and, is doing the work, whereas we are actually doing the work to the beef. But, but also to make the a corned beef versus a pastrami, that's a world of difference. Dude, You're letting the pig's parts do the work for you. You know what I mean? But the pig lazy, provides you with a podcast for you to argue these different things. <laughs> And we thank you for that. <laughs> but wait a minute. The, 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 and, you, oh, you're, you keep saying this thing. You keep saying I, this thing about you, the do, Jewish delis evolved into a restaurant. Yes. I love a corned beef sandwich. But, it dude, doesn't. I got to tell you, if I want a corned beef sandwich, I don't want a restaurant. I want a deli. If I want to. You want to eat in an alley like a. Or you want to no, sit down? No, but if no. I want a restaurant, I'll go to a damn restaurant. Dude, that's what if, a deli is. Okay, but if I'm going to a... But, but that's my what point a Jewish is, deli is. I'm going to an Italian deli, and I've got all these other options to pick whatever the hell I want for lunch, or you maybe You want to buy take, a canned good and a wheel of cheese you know and eat Here's the, the other thing I don't like, Louie. Louie, here's the other thing I don't like. Uh -huh. That if I, wanna, if I want to get some of the stuff from the Italian deli and say, I want to take some stuff home, maybe make my own thing this week, mm -hmm. I can do it affordably. Every Jewish deli I go to, when I want to get a pound of corned beef, they're like, that'll be $36. You're like, what? May, may this I? is crazy. You want to do it? I mean, this do-it-yourself thing. You want to give your fucking, it's a deli, may, build a bear. May, Why are you doing it yourself? May, 
I want I want it cooked because for sometimes me, I don't want to pay thirty two dollars for a sandwich, and you know I, that that's true. The corned true. beef and pastrami sandwiches are like upwards They're of thirty dollars. But man. I think a good Italian deli is pretty expensive too. Not May in I that ball, nowhere near that, dude. Because there's nowhere service. You're that. paying for service. You sit down. There's napkins. Service. There's an place. eighty year old man that walks up and goes, "You want the pickle? You yeah, want the pickle? That's good. I love that. Yeah. That's part May of the experience. I, May I interject? Experience. Okay. And the Italian guy with the pencil going, "Hey, but what can I do for you? That's that's that experience. Is, that's true. That is true. You're so right. my you're point right. is, but is I want to sit down. You're, you're not, paying for a booth. Cats is a you booth walk charge. to the counter, you take a ticket, you do all of the work yourself, it's, and the sandwich is thirty some dollars. It's too dollars. expensive. There's Agreed. no doubt. It's that's ridiculous. ridiculous. It's too expensive. Now may I interject? Yes. Louis said something about what are you going to do? Are you going to get the ingredients and eat it in an alley? Do you know the joy in getting a a, a thing of cheese, a bread? And yes. meats and everything. That's and, French. And arugula. And arugula. Yeah, no, no go ahead. Finish Listen, this. I'm with you. Go. And taking it to the park on a blanket, sitting with friends, and you make your own sandwiches, and you eat there together. So, but try getting a thing of pastrami and rye and slapping it on a thing. It's not the Okerson, same. Okerson, you can used get to, food to go. You just don't. You don't have to Okerson go. But there's good about to, getting when, when a Okerson sandwich and, and leaving. To Okerson your point of... Used, if you want yes. me to talk, why am I getting steamed? Because I because he was talking and then I started talking and then you started talking again while I was talking and thought it was that counted as steamrolling. Play the tape. I back. mean, it's unbelievable. He, said <laughs> he climbs under a car and goes, "Why did you run me over?" <laughs> I, I, you know, yeah, talk. And I talk. get insurance money. I was and talking I'm doing to his right. point. Okerson, when I when Okerson and I lived in the same neighborhood, we were neighbors. He would be like, "Let's order from Sarge's Deli. We'll get delivery. We'll get we'll get a pound of pastrami. We'll get a pound of corned beef. We'll get rye bread. Whatever, dude. We would order this. It would be a hundred dollars. True. And it's like this is this is absurd, man. Like it's, it's too not expensive. worth that much money. No, it's not. It's, it's not too expensive. But the price you're paying for is a better deli. It's a better deli, and that's but why dude, it costs more here's, money. Because better things cost. Here's more what money. I'd counter that with, Louie. And I, again, I love a cor I battled corned beef on rye on this podcast. I forget what I battled it against. It's one of the greatest sandwiches of all time. Oh, Whoa, man. Dude. All right, what are you doing? Dude? Yo. <laughs> that was cool. He's got a big sack. What the fuck? I didn't know it was Ari until I was over there. All I saw was C and B. We gotta edit our um, words. I had nothing to do with that. <laughs> I did not I know that that was gonna that happen. Ari did that on his own. That's very he, possible. He did that on his own. <laughs> Are you sure? I have brothers. I've grown up. All, all right, <laughs> all right. That doesn't count as some workplace. Ari, thing. we need help because there's there's a hard time talking over each other. When it's someone's turn to talk, can you point your <laughs> at them? All right, can we? Can you That'd shut be the, great. This is this place is going sideways today. <laughs> Are you coming in? Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't I, help that he looks homeless now. So it really looks uh, like some random homeless oh man God, just walked in here. Amazing. Kid's got a hog on him. <laughs> I oh, just, I was meaty. more impressed by the sack. Just Talking now. about pastrami. <laughs> Talking <laughs> about some meats. It's Look a kosher that salami, thing. huh? Woo! I bet that's like a pig. It tastes different in each part. Yeah. The. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Was I yelling? Yeah, you still are. Uh, he... <laughs> so, wait, what were we talking about? It doesn't really matter. Lost. I lost it. It doesn't matter. Well, can oh, yeah, I, can yeah, I have yeah. one more argument? I, I, there's one thing more. Go ahead, go say. ahead. Do there's your like, last argument. There's yeah. a classic. You have classic sandwiches. The pastrami. The Reuben is a classic sandwich. Reuben's disgusting. Right? That's crazy. The, oh, that's what I was going to say. Wait, go and, ahead. and, and, yeah, and yeah. there's no really classic Italian sandwich. Are you kidding me? I would say the Louis, classic that's sandwich. Crazy. Italian Louis, sandwich. Louis, 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 hold on, hold on. Sub, I'm, stop. I'm sorry. The Italian you're, you're, sub, which is just a salt bomb. It has no depth. You're gross. There's no levels. And then the chicken parm, which is the most basic sandwich in the world. It's basically. It's, Louis, it's, this like, is idiotic. it's like a child invented it. They want oh Louis. I want I want pizza chicken. Please, mama, give Louis. me pizza chicken. Louis. That's what it is. Louis. Okay? Louis. Grow up to say have a real Louis. sandwich Louis. real flavor. You're eating pate like a like a, a short haired calico. Louis. <laughs> Louis. Louis. There's no classic Italian sandwiches. 
Step back while I own this. What's the this. name Bro, of the sandwich? Let him be a bubble Step gum. back while What's I own this and drop the mic. Name Step it. back while I own this and drop the mic. Name Sausage it. and peppers. Peppers and eggs. You're naming Sa- ingredients. Shut up, That's not Louis. the name of a sandwich. Sausage yeah, yeah. and pepper. Oh, it's the only 80 booths at the San Gennaro Festival every single year. That festival sucks. Those peppers suck. That shit's all garbage. Where's well, the Jewish festival deli thing? It's we don't in need uh, a festival. It's in the- oh, never mind. <laughs> oh, Joe. Oh, Joe. Joe, Joe. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Let's hear it, Joe. I need to hear it. I need to hear it. Sausage and peppers. Gross. Chicken parm. Gross. Uh, uh, broccoli Chicken rob. cutlet. Broccoli, uh, broccoli rob also gross. Oh, dude, roast All those pork. Things suck. Oh, All you're those an things idiot. suck. Dude, really. and, and, and guess what? Yeah, they're named after the ingredients, so you hear it and you know what's in the sandwich. A true it's, famous so sandwich it, has its own I name. I got news for you. I love a corned beef. Okay. I love a corned beef on rye. Every time I get it, halfway through it, I'm like, oh, my God. I'm, I, I got to take a nap. I feel sick right now. You're it's weak. It's too much. It's so much fat. Have you it's ever so heard of Anthony and Son Panini Shop? Yeah. yeah. Look at the menu. They're my boys. A million they invented their options. own sandwiches. It's not a yeah, universal shout sandwich. Out. These Italians are creative. Shout outs to Anthony and Sons. Yes. Uh, I, right. like, I do like Anthony and Sons. Yes, they're great. <laughs> and look, I love and Sarge's an and I love the Jewish Dojo in New York, but but I just don't think they can compare to an Italian. The level, anyway. the, the, you can get meals, I mean... What Sebastian said is wrong. The other thing is you could eat there all day. If you wanted to stay there and take no, a you nap couldn't. in the corner, no, you got you crazy couldn't. breakfast. You got crazy lunch. You got, you got latkes. You got blintzes. You got knishes. Louis, that's I mean, not all day. That's not all day. You named the your soups. Latkes and blintzes aren't specific to Jewish delis. Louis. Yes, they could are. You get, go, to, go to hold Baselka on. then. Louis. Louis. Could you get? You're gonna need on, to work the on. levels. Hold on. Could you get? <laughs> could you get three meals huh. at a Jewish deli? Could you do breakfast, lunch, and dinner? Yes. Yeah. You can go bagels and lox at breakfast, for example. You can go uh, soup and, and latkes or whatever for uh, for lunch, and then you can go corned beef sandwich for dinner. Let's just say that Sounds those are the delicious. And then a, and then a dessert. Day two. Re- rinse and repeat. That's it. The next Those day, are your options. I would get lox, I, eggs, and onions for breakfast, or I would get a blitz. But Italian deli, get- Italian deli, dozens of breakfast options, dozens of sandwich what the, options. What are the dozens can of I breakfast say, options at an Italian I, deli? I would never I go say, to an Italian deli for huh? breakfast. May I you would say, go to an Italian deli for breakfast? Oh, dude, we've only we only created the the bacon, egg, and cheese, the egg and cheese on a may roll. I say, that's, created the look, bacon, egg, that's, and cheese? That's all New York... It wasn't a Jewish deli putting pork and dairy well, together on a sure, roll. But I, I don't. I really. I find that hard to believe that a bacon, egg, and cheese is an Italian. Go to dish. a new, do go to a corner deli in New York that's run by Italian guys and tell me if they got a bacon, egg, and cheese. Play, I get my bacon, egg, and cheese from Arabs. That's who makes them for me. All right. All I know. <laughs> All I know. Yeah, them too. <laughs> all I know is if you want to look at which one is better, look at the people who are eating it. Look at how many fat Italians there are because they're well fed. They they're eating their own food. What to do? Katz is, is on the fat Jew. Right, Katz's is, is on Besides the list. That joke when you come stealer. to New York, you go to Katz's. It is overpriced. Oh, big deal. What so Italian is the deli Disney do you go store. to? What Italian deli do you go the to when Disney you come to New York? Stores, you don't. The you Disney don't stores on the list. The, the Katz's is being on the list is like saying Best Buy is on the list. No, it doesn't, thank you. No, sorry. Katz's is so Russ and Daughters is delicious. Katz's is delicious. But no, but the Shapiro shut down. Katz's is not delicious. Katz's. Corned beef is dry, and their pastrami is fine. If you dress it up with enough Russian dressing and mustard, it's a solid sandwich. Yeah. But you will pay thirty six dollars for it. Yeah, it's a bit of a tourist trap by now. But I'll admit that it is. But I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There's no Italian deli that has that kind of look. You want Italian food? You're going to go to a restaurant. You're going to get the pizza. It's delicious. Are you going to go out of your way to find an Italian deli? Yes. I don't know all if you're the gonna, time. I don't know if you're going to do that, dude. I went to an Italian shop in a in a in, or sandwich joint in a. It was called Dave's. Um, no, Dave's. I'm sorry, Bob's Bob's something deli, Bob's Haven Deli. It's it's down near Phoenixville. I went to that place uh, recently, and dude, it was unreal. You went in, and all they do is pizza, stromboli, Italian sandwiches. Mm. Sounds like you went to a pizza shop. Dude, it, it's not a pizza shop. It a, sounds like you went to a pizza shop and not a deli. It's not a pizza. It's a place that is pizza, stromboli. And Italian it's not a pizza shop. They don't have to slice Italian out the Italian should they stay do in their things. lane, serve pizza and pasta, and leave the deli. We got to go to the phones. We got to okay. go to the phones. Right. We got to go to the phones. <laughs> but Ryan says, both absolutely amazing. Went to the Jewish deli in Chicago, and it was phenomenal. 
Uh, Nick says, I know you guys are from NYC, but have you traveled through the country? Sometimes these battles rely on East Coast. Oh, sorry, knowledge. we're not arguing garbage plates he's over not, trash he's not, can in he's Rochester. Not, he's not wrong, but he's not right. There are plenty of places now in the Midwest that have great, they're great Jewish delis and great Italian delis. I've gone on the road many times. That's so that's, you get so much more variety in a Jewish deli, yes. but both are, <laughs> you leave happy and full. I, I, you see that guy by Connor Lee? Read that, Joey. Put slices of capicolo on my eyes at the spa and paint my nails with balsamic reduction. Italian deli all day, baby. All right, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. If I'm trying to get a good meal, Italian deli. If I'm looking for a good deal, shout out to those JDs. That's not true. It's the opposite. JD is a bad deal, but it's just great sandwich. Can, can I make can I make one argument real quick? Well, yeah. Would but the no, Sopranos no, no. Don't open a whole new thing though? Would the Sopranos be the same without Italian deli meats? Uh, the, so much of that show you lost me there. I upon. hate that's my le I hate that part of the show so much. What? I think it's idiotic. You you're a fool. Him repeatedly going, <laughs> it's I can't great. stand it. It's I can't great. stand it. And and it wouldn't that wouldn't exist without Italian delis. Uh deli is short for delicatessen, which is a German word brought here by German Jewish people, so I'm gonna have to vote for Jewish. All right, nerd. <laughs> Guess this is only for New Yorkers. No, it's not, Ben. There are Italian and Jewish places across the country. I hate when people make a comment like that just because their neighborhood doesn't have this. Yes. Sorry that uh, 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 Pottstown, Pennsylvania, or wherever the hell you live, didn't have both of these options <laughs> readily available yeah. for you. <laughs> And by the way, Pottstown does have these options. <laughs> <laughs> After this battle, are we going to see a reband to Joey Rosen's knees? That's, That's funny. That's great. <laughs> Italian cuisine is king, even a cold cut. Yes. A good pastrami on rye and knish and some kosh on this. Dude, I don't know which yeah. way this is going to go, pimp. Let's can, go to the can boat. I, can I say one more thing? No. You have cooler, no, name, you have cooler nicknames okay, for mom I love, guys. I love can I say it, and then I'm going to do it anyway. <laughs> Who are you, my mother? You asked a question, I said no, and you did it anyway. Yeah, but you didn't let me talk enough. All I'm saying is you get cooler nicknames for mob guys from Italian deli stuff than you do Wow, Jewish what stuff. a great point. Yeah, Thank if, God you said this. Hey, wa hey watch out for Jimmy Capicol. Oh, what are you going to be? Oh, we're the, we need to watch out for Murray Pastrami. <laughs> that sounds cool. Yeah, right. That See, sounds, aren't you glad cool. I talked? It made me laugh in the end because you got loud and it got funny. <laughs> All right, listen. We're going to the vote. Whoever, plug whatever you got to plug now, and whoever loses, or I'm sorry, whoever wins says to the other guy, I still love you, and then you have to say I love you too. That's how the show ends. Got it. So get oh. your plug out of the way, and then we'll do the vote. Okay. Uh, watch my new special. on. Uh, it's on YouTube. It's called Present Tense. Uh, look me up. It's L O U I S K T Z. Check out the special, and if you like it, please share it with your friends. Um, Check out Louis' special. Louis, you're it's great. Very we're, bu good. we're busting Thanks. shops today, but you're great. You're Thanks very so funny. I've known you from the beginning. I think we did new faces. We did together. new faces together yeah, in like yeah. 2005. I've known Louis my entire ride in this business. I'm I'm glad to see your that we're both still some of the guys still doing it. Some of those guys disappeared. <laughs> yeah, some of them are, are no longer with so, us. <laughs> I'm glad you're not one of them. I'm glad you're still with Joe, us. And you're great, man. Thank Joe you. loves you so much. That one time in the stand, he was so drunk, yelling at me, Louis Katz, Louis Katz, <laughs> you too good to talk to me, Louis Katz. So he sees you everywhere he goes. I was? That really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought you were Louis Katz? At the old stand, yeah. And then you were talking to someone, you're like, you can't even fucking say hi to me? And they're like, that's not Louis, Joe. That's weird. That sounds exactly like me. <laughs> uh, do you have any plugs? Yes. I'm taping my first special oh, Sunday, nice. December 3rd. New York City, The Cutting Room, emfidance.com for tickets, two shows, 7, 9.30. It'd be amazing if you guys were there. People from Taste Buds and Hey Babe and No Pressure, they come out to shows. I can't thank you enough. I, I, I'm so excited. December 3rd, Sunday, emfidance.com for tickets. Be an Ian with Jordan, mm -hmm. patreon.com slash be an Ian pod. Ian's awesome too. I'm so yeah. happy you're doing your first special. Thank Proud you, Proud of you, buddy. Yeah. Thanks, I remember buddy. when you were new and kicking around the city. So thank you, brother. Congrats, man. Appreciate go out it. to see Louie. I'm mean, sorry. Watch Louie's special and go out to see Ian tape his. Uh, all right, folks. Humble pie time. Let's see who won this thing. Pimp hovers over Italian deli. That could. Holy oh, shit! Oh wow! <laughs> what is it? Oh <laughs> my god! Wow! Eighty-one point five percent in favor of Italian deli. Jewish deli coming in eighteen point five. Dude, I didn't think it was going to be like a. What's interesting is 81.5, 18.5. You can switch them around and it's the same, which means we're all equal. 
and we all love each other. And the media is contro- gotta- <laughs> the media is controlling us. Somebody's watching right now. I think, I think this it means- proves anti-Semitism. Is I, yeah, real. that's what I think. I think it yeah. proves you have a lot of Italians who. <laughs> and we thank Italians. you. I, honestly, I feel uncomfortable. The Jewish lost this badly with all that's going on in the world you right should now. Feel uncomfortable. It's making me very uncomfortable. It's not right. I'm happy yeah, so because it's another win on my belt for the show. But right now, it's making me that uncomfortable. That should be split, and I think it's a little. I, I, I think people, that's wild. Maybe people voted that way because they are watching the show and they just dislike you. No, they they can't see what's happening right now. Go along with it. Oh, this. <laughs> oh, it's pre kid <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> Louis, we still love you. I love you too. Thanks You're the for best. Having me. This I fun. love you, Louis, and I spend so much time together. Yeah. And yeah. did you hear when I explained how the <laughs> podcast ends? No. It's over now. Oh. Stop talking. Right, right. <laughs> Taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into the mic.